Hi, and welcome to the Stack Tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at randomizing your questions. And this is the simple integration problem that we've been working on for the last few videos. Now let's say we wanted these three constants to be random integers. To do that, go back to your question variables, and we'll define three new variables. This will be a1, this will be a2, and this will be nn. To make a1 a random integer from 0 up to and not including 6, we use the function rand6. And we don't really want the constant to ever be 0. A quick fix to that is just to add 1. Now a1 will be a random integer from 1 up to and not including 7. We'll let a2 be the same and nn be 1 plus rand 4. Now stack wants to distinguish between two random variants of a question. For that we need to specify a question node. This is a unique identifier for each question variant. So for example you might put the question and the answer. I'll do that. I'll say integral of the expression with respect to x equals the answer. Now we can save our question. And if you click preview, you'll see that one student might get a variant with 5, 4, and 2, while another student might get a variant in this case, they got 5.2 again. Another student might get a variant with 2, 1, and 3. To control which variants the students get to see, go to Question Tests and Deployed Variants. And then under Attempt to Automatically Deploy the Following Number of Variants, enter 10. Stack will then attempt to generate 10 random variants. And then students will only be shown one of those 10. Here you can see all their question notes. And you'll also get to cross out any that you don't like. For example, you might not like the ones that include log in the answer. So you could cross those out. Alternatively, we could just make sure that the power is never 1. So under nn, we'll set that to 2 plus rand 4. And once you save and go back to your deployed variants, you'll see that they'll all be updated. And all the ones that include log in the answer will have been changed. That concludes this tutorial. You should now be able to work with randomization in Stack.